Hey, good morning guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. Uh, for those of you not interested in MCOM or emergency communications, this is not the video for you, but I do promise there will be a uh, vehicle loadout video uh, up next. Uh, so for those of you interested in ham radio, um, let's get started. Um, so we just moved into this new property and I wanted to set up my first ham shack now that I have some space. Uh, if there are any digital Elmers out there that are willing to uh, give me some tips or advice, uh, feel free to comment below. I would absolutely appreciate it. So let's get started with what I have set up here. So uh, over the weekend, I took my portable ATOS 25 manual tune antenna, and I took it off of the uh, camera tripod, and what I did was I mounted it on a three quarter inch PVC pipe and I put a three quarter inch cap and then I drilled a, a hole and put through a, a one quarter inch uh, threaded screw uh, to mount it at the bottom. And then I have uh, three ground radials coming off. This does come with the ATOS 25. Um, I've been using this antenna pretty effectively to, uh, on pretty much all bands uh, from 100 and 60 meters all the way down to uh, 10 meters, uh, which I'm licensed. Um, I'm only receiving on the bands on which I'm not licensed. Uh, so I've been primarily playing with 10 meters with very little luck given uh, the time of year right now. I have all three uh, elements uh, plugged in. And then I also have the... Uh, VHF UHF radials. So this antenna right now is working perfectly on uh, two meters and 440. Uh, so there isn't a tripping hazard. I took the uh, 50 feet of uh, coax uh, RG8X and I've kind of run it alongside here and put some rocks and taped it down with some, some duct tape. And then I ran it through uh, the duct right here and then ran some more duct tape to my new ham shack. And this ham shack is very much a work in progress. Uh, since I am a technician uh, class licensee holder, I am just barely getting into HF. And since I'm a avid backpacker, I decided to go with a small uh, QRP rig. This is the Yesu uh, 818 ND. Um, I don't recommend it for first HF radio, but for how I want to use it, I love the weight, size, and in fact, it's making me work a bit harder to get everything right. Uh, so let's take a quick step back here. Uh, so I have the obligatory Yesu map. This came with the 818 ND radio. I have my ham license. And then, um, really proud of this, I got uh, a QSL card for my first uh, QSO. And this came in the mail today, so very exciting. Um, I know people are doing it digitally now, but uh, it was really cool to get something in the mail. Uh, it was like the old days of just getting handwritten letters, kind of cool. Um, so let's start over here. So I have my Raspberry Pi. I've got a few projects in the works here. I think the next project is to do a 12 volt DC to five volt DC step down. I'll probably build uh, that myself, and then I'll probably later on upgrade to um, the draws hat for digital modes. Um, I have an older 2015 MacBook Pro here. Uh, right now I'm experimenting with a JS8 call with uh, no success, but I do have everything working uh, as designed. Uh, for power, I'm using the BioEno 12 volt, 12 amp hour uh, battery. Uh, right now it's also being topped off via 110 VAC. And um, I have everything standardized now on Anderson power poles as is customary with the ham radio uh, community. Um, and then I have over here the Yesu 818ND connected to uh, the signal link. And um, right now it's resting on a old piece of Tupperware with uh, my EDC flashlight. Uh, I will be getting some stands for it uh, shortly. 
since the ATOS 25 antenna is manually tuned, um, I don't know how I would tune it without something like the uh, Rig Expert 35. Um, so just prior to this, I was listening on uh, seven megahertz, uh, so on 40 meters, and I decided to tune it before, and you can see I got it to resonate at about 1.46 SWR on 28 megahertz. Um, so very really happy with that. So I don't know what I would do without this. I do have the Z817 automatic tuner, but um, I'm not really using it uh, since I'm actually preferring to have resonant antennas. Uh, yeah, I also have a inline volt watt amp meter, uh, which is coming in handy. And then I also have the uh, ARRL uh, band plan. Uh, this is coming in super handy. And then I have a VHF UHF uh, handheld. That's the Yesu FT60R. Uh, right now it's listening on uh, my local repeater. And then as I found very quickly, um, I need to make sure that I always have something to write with. Uh, in fact, I've got a couple of extras down here in the drawer. Uh, so I've got some manuals, more things to write with, uh, the study material for my general extra batteries for the uh, Rick Expert uh, 35 zoom, and then one of the inexpensive TI-85 calculators for when I take my tests. And then here's just miscellaneous uh, cables, uh, programming cables for all the radios, uh, some ferret beads. And over here, I'm not exactly sure what I put in here. Oh yeah, so this is uh, basically my kit for constructing my Anderson uh, power poles. Uh, this area over here will be my primary workbench. Uh, right now I've got the carrying case that I built for my ATOS 25, a VHF UHF antenna that I took from my boss's building, and, uh, you know, just more tools here uh, for uh, my electronics work, so extra wire, things like that. Um, yeah, so at any rate, guys, um, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, I'll switch off of the ham topic for the next few videos so it can cater to the rest of the prepper community. But um, I gotta tell you, living in a remote place with no cell coverage, um, being able to have emergency comms is absolutely essential for me. Uh, so this will be our primary method in a grid down situation for communication. Uh, in fact, even the BioWino uh, battery, I have a 60 watt set of solar panels. I did a video on this earlier and I could just run it out the door and just face it south and be able to top off that battery. At any rate, guys, uh, thanks for subscribing. Uh, we're almost at 100 subscribers, so thank you very much. So be strong, be safe, and be prepared.